Keith DeBoer today. His team, health issues, but they continue to push forward with this man, Corey Schneider, a seventh consecutive start. His predecessor, Martin Brodeur, had a number of epic battles with the Hurricanes, some good, some bad. His start tonight, seven in a row, 27 of 28 he's played. It's Cam Ward at the opposite end of the, opposite end of the ice, Brodeur's nemesis for some of those games in the spring. He reached the pinnacle of his profession back in 2006, a rookie netminder, Stanley Cup, Conn Smythe Trophy winner, and he gets the assignment tonight on back-to-back -back nights. Underway tonight in Carolina. Hurricanes work it back across, and here's Andre Sakara with a drive and the save made by Corey Schneider. Tonight's lineups are brought to you by Infinity, luxury cars that deliver inspired performance. Right out of the gate, Carolina Hurricanes get a wide-open defenseman. Sakara with the blast, and Corey Schneider comes out of his crease, makes the save. Good start for the Canes. Devils change, change up right away. Only 17 seconds in this game. Steve didn't like what happened since the opening faceoff. Off the draw, Eric Stahl works this back and controlled here by Jeff Skinner. He's paired with Stahl. That hasn't been the case lately for Carolina. That shot got through to Corey Schneider. And quickly on the loose puck is Scott Gomez who winds it around. Scott Gomez, what a story this is turning out to be. Man without a job in the NHL two weeks ago, getting a chance on a top line here tonight with Yaradir Yager and Dinah Zubras playing left wing on that line tonight. Pressure by that unit, taken here by the Hurricanes, but not out of the zone as Damon Severson throws it towards goal. Here's Yager picking up the puck at the side of the net, and he gives here to Scott Gomez. Tries to center one for Yager and does. Drops it back. Severson with a shot and a pad stop made by Cam Ward. Punch back out to center, and Severson on the puck again. Works it ahead to the stick of Yager. Change for Carolina as Andy Green had the puck knocked off his stick, but the Devils gain the zone again. Taken here by Gomez, and Scott Gomez leaves this. The shot by Severson triples to the side of the net. Justin Falk tries to work this out of harm's way. It pops up high and controlled here by Carolina. Good work from the Yager line. Getting some chances, opportunities in the offensive end. Taken here by Shelena. That shot is fired away wide. Picked up by the Hurricanes. And now the Canes under siege will skate it away. And coming back the other way is Riley Nash. His 15 points tied with Eric Stahl for the team lead coming into tonight. Big hit at center ice by Shelena as he leveled Patrick Dwyer. And the Devils take the puck away and send it in deep. 2-2 leaves this for Mike Sislo. Tries to put a shot on goal, but it's blocked away. Here's 2-2 at the intercept. Heading for the bench for the Devils. Jacob Josephson. And the Devils work this across here to Peter Harrell. Peter Harrell back in the lineup tonight. Seth Helgeson, the rookie defenseman. He's played well. Peter DeBoer acknowledged that today, but getting the night off. Hurricanes work this across and picked up off the near board and fired in. John Merrill under siege on the opposite side. Here's Jay McClement who works it back. Sakara with a shot, and that's blocked away by the sliding Steve Bernier. Check defenseman Andre Sakara comes out loose in front, and they hit the post on the shot in front, off the stick of the Carolina Hurricanes, and they keep this in the zone. Here's Yuri Tolusti on the puck here. Andres Nestrashil, number 15, the ex-Detroit Red Wing, with the golden chance there. But a stoppage in play and a penalty coming up. It's against New Jersey. Well, Carolina comes so close to opening the scoring here, but there's Eric Jelena with a big hit at center ice. He turned the puck over, or the Devils winger did not receive it, but then he follows up with the big hit. So important. Then you see him go off the ice a little shaken up. Here's the great opportunity by the Hurricanes. You mentioned Nestor Schill right in front all alone. Devils get caught. Nobody in front and he dings one off the bar now the devils have a penalty to kill stall and skinner and chalusti start off on the power play here for carolina off the draw adam henrique looks to control but taken away here by carolina and sakara plays this puck across Marek Zidlitsky for tripping at the 2.53 mark in the first power play opportunity of the night as skinner steps up at the circle and that shot blocked away by peter harrell but not out of the zone Kept alive. Here's Sakara one more time for the Canes. Throws it towards goal. Blocked away in front. It's loose. Stahl reaches out and collects here for Carolina. 
Gives here to Skinner off the far boards. Here's Jeff Skinner. He shoots. Save made by Schneider. Toulouse trying to control. Devils are quickly on the puck here. Harold battling along the near boards, but it's loose behind the net and taken now by Stahl. Into the corner, here's Skinner. Stahl for Skinner again, and they drop it back to the point. Sakara at the circle. Minute to go on the power play. Played across the shot by Skinner, blocked away in front. Turnaround shot by Toulouski, and Corey Schneider holds on with that. Real good puck movement on this power play by the Her Carolina Hurricanes. And Corey Schneider comes up huge in the slot on Toulouski. You're going to see the first shot here from Skinner. Blocked from Andy Green. Puck's bouncing around. Toulouski with the spin around in the slot. And Corey Schneider there to shut the door. A real good movement with the team power play here. Off the draw, controlled by Carolina. Shot from the point. Taken here by Carolina and sent back into the corner and sent the length of the ice by Mike Sislo on the continuation of the penalty kill. Finally, the Devils able to get it clear, and a lot of that had to do with Skinner, Stahl, Toulouse moving that puck, defenseman rotating and coming down low, but they get it out now. Victor Rask, the Swedish center, plays it across, and the Carolina Hurricanes set up once again. Falk is the man with the big shot. 27 on the puck here. Dishes off for Nathan Gurdy. Cross-ice pass. Big save made by Corey Schneider on the shot from Victor Rask, and the Devils get the clear. Schneider there again. Devils know they're going to need a big effort from him. He's the difference on this penalty kill with a couple of key saves. The first five shots of the hockey game for Carolina. They gain the zone once again. Shot from the point. Blocked away in front. Harms around. Here's Rask. Trying to control, taken away by the Devils, and punched out the center. Zidlitsky out of the box, able to leave this for Rutu. Return pass for Zidlitsky, throws it in front. Ward able to fight that off high with Rutu crashing the net. Back to five on five as that shot by Steven Gianta goes wide, and it's picked up here by Gerby and Carolina. And the best I can say on that penalty kills, the Devils survived, Steve. Corey Schneider made some huge saves. Back the other way, come Carolina, five on five. Here's Dwyer with a tricky shot, and Schneider got the pad out to stop that. A busy Corey Schneider in the opening moments here at PNC Arena. Dinah Zubris goes flying at center ice as he ran into the defenseman Sakara. Back the other way comes McClement in Carolina. His sharp angle try, Karam's all the way out of the zone. First of four meetings between the teams this season. Hurricanes will be at Prudential Center in the last game for each of these teams prior to the three-day Christmas break. Now the mandatory three-day break as negotiated for the last CBA is Yaradir Yager. Skates this away for the Devils and works it across. Scott Gomez down the right side, slowed up just enough and controlled here by Carolina. All the way back in the Devils' end, it's icing against the Hurricanes, 6-11 into the first period. Well, over 82 games, we use words like chemistry, cohesion, when describing a team that's going well. That's been hard, if not impossible, for the Devils to develop with so many changes to the lineup through 27 games due to injury and illness. Pete DeBoer said today, not going to use that as a crutch. As a crutch, told me today that all the players have been here since day one of camp. They know the system. This is not an issue for the team right now. Uh, there is no excuse, Steve. I mean, every team deals with injuries. The Devils proved that they can win by playing like a team, and they, we saw that in Toronto with the five-goal effort. And nothing fancy, but worked hard. Centering try here for Rutu, taken away by the Hurricanes, and darting back the other way for Carolina is Chris Terry. One of the changes to the Hurricanes lineup tonight. Canes played last night in this building, a 3-1 loss to the Detroit Red Wings. Harrison has the puck at the point that's blocked away, and Route 2 able to work this ahead for Adam Henry. Jay Harrison jarred the puck loose, but it comes here to Severson, who gains the zone for the Devils. He dishes off, Martin Havlock back in the lineup, centering try for Ryder, and that puck is tipped away wide. Devils control behind the net. Ryder able to come out with it and a shot that's saved by Cam Ward. Good pressure by the Devils on this shift, but taken by Carolina and punched away to center ice. John Merrill works it across, and Sislo is on the puck for the Devils. Glad you joined us tonight on NSG+. Plus. Devils coming off 
The loss to Washington Saturday night, 4-1 defeat. Pete DeBoer called that a winnable game. Braden Holtby had other ideas. He was marvelous and stonewalled the Devils all night for the Washington Capitals. Another icing call against the Hurricanes are here. Well, Bill Peters, the NFL has the Barcells Belichick coaching tree, Dano. The <laughs> NHL's coaching lineage of Mike Babcock has produced a number of good ones, and Bill Peters, you know him well. Yeah, well, he coached in Spokane. Now, it was a different team name, but I played back in Spokane many moons ago in the WHL. He coached the Memorial Cup championship, and he coached against DeBoer, Coach DeBoer, who was with Kitchener at the time. Soft shot by Jelenai, redirected and fired wide of the net. Talk about a dues payer. Three years in the AHL, three years as a Detroit assistant, couple of years at the University of Lethbridge. And getting his shot as a first-year NHL head coach with Carolina. They struggled out of the gate, rebounded somewhat since going winless in the first eight games of the season, Carolina. And if there's a team that can find some excuses, Carolina, they've been injured as much as any team in the league and Peters didn't have much to work with the first eight games of the year when they went winless but when you come from the Detroit Red Wings organization you know he knows what it takes to win in this league another icing call against Carolina here welcome back to this man Martin Havlat he returns from a three-game absence due to a lower body injury and he finds line mate and countryman Patrick Eliash out of the lineup tonight you sensed a frustration from Martin Havlat when speaking with him this morning he's missed roughly half the games the Devils have played he's called this a strange couple of weeks but we have to find a way anxious to get back and make a contribution tonight number nine Turning around and shooting Jordan Tutu. That's blocked away in front and skated away by the Hurricanes. To the stick of Yuri Tulusti. Plays it ahead. Shot there by Riley Nash is fired away wide. Nick Caram's out of the zone. James off the races on an outnumbered situation. Three on two and they didn't miss by much there. Carolina has missed the playoffs each of the last five years. Haven't qualified for the postseason since the spring of 2009 and that run to the Eastern Conference Final, knocking off the Devils and Bruins along the way. Toluski is checked by Andy Green. Carolina able to hold the zone and taken here in the corner. Puck winds around and controlled by Jay Harrison at the point for the Hurricanes, and that's blocked away by Michael Ryder. Here's Harrison on the puck. Sixth year, Kane's defenseman works it ahead. Triples into the double zone, McClennan. Signed with Carolina as a free agent over the summer. Man on the puck here in the corner, trying to maneuver away from Severson. Worked back to the point. Justin Falk is there, who sends it in deep. Picked off by Henrique. He took a hit. Good work by Falk. Minnesota Duluth native. Played back here, and the shot by McClendon is blocked away. Henrique trying to get it out of the zone. Instead, Jelena will dart behind his own net. Michael Ryder punches it out for center. Instead, Jelena will send this back the other way, and we're having trouble getting started tonight. Another icing call. We've had five in total already in the period. Yeah, Devil's having a tough time clearing the puck out of his zone, finally ice it. And there's Justin Falk, the young defenseman for the Carolina Hurricanes. You see he has 15 points in the season, which is tied for the team lead with a couple of guys. Also minus 15 rating, Steve, with the struggles the Carolina Hurricanes have had, but big expectations from this young man they think he can become an elite defenseman in this league and talking to some people from carolina today it's just finding that consistency for a young defenseman being mentally prepared to play every night at a high level against top lines like he did the other night against detroit and then bouncing right back in the, in the next game centering try by skinner taken away by the devils and henrique lifts it away they got justin falk in the second round in 2010 ncaa college champion Back in 2011, with Chico Resch's Minnesota Duluth squad. Is it taken back here by Peter Harold in the Devils' end? We've played better than 10 minutes in the opening period and scoreless in Raleigh. Jacob Josephson over the line. Quick shot deflects out of play. And with that, we'll step aside for the first time in Raleigh. Cam Ward, Corey Schneider. Zeros are on the board. Flashback to one of our previous trips to Carolina. We were unaware of this, actually, until we signed off the air. Cam Ward is in goal. Devils and the Carolina Hurricanes. Devils trying to get the game tied late. Sent all the way back. 
And about half an hour after this game came to an end, Cam Ward was credited with an NHL goal against the New Jersey Devils. <laughs> A little unorthodox way to get it, but 30 years from now when he's talking to his grandkids, he, he put a top shelf from his own end. <laughs> December 26th, 2011, it was credited to Cam Ward. Fired in by Marek Zedlitsky. They tie up Yager, Falk does, and the battle along the far boards here. No score in the first period. Bolton, Connecticut native Ron Hainsey works it across for Carolina, but it's nursed back instead to John Merrill. Zidlitsky to Scott Gomez. Here's Scott Gomez looking for space. Sends behind the net. Zubris and Yager trying to get the handle on that. Puck comes loose. Here's Yager able to take it away. Plays it across. Gomez back to the point. A shot by Merrill. Saved by Ward. The rebound and he got that with the left arm. Big stop by Cam Ward. Worked across here to Zidlitsky again. Now Yager back to the point. Good pressure by the Devils as it's worked across. Justin Falk got it out of the crease. Now Zubris will take this out of the corner. Zubris cycles for Yager. Tries to guide it back to the point. Under pressure is Merrill. Swatted it down with the glove, and that's a hand pass against New Jersey. And with that, play stops with 8.23 to go in the opening period. And no score in Raleigh. The Devils early on, not much scoring chances. Until now, best... Chance of the first period shot by John Merrill and Dinah Zubers gets loose and one hands that puck backhanded right there. Almost over the shoulder of Ward. He's able to get the left glove up and stop that rebound. Best pressure of the first period so far, Steve, by the Devils there. And they have to continue that get net presence, shoot the puck. Fourth shot of the game for New Jersey on the rebound attempt. And taken here by the Hurricanes as Harrison will send this the length of the ice. And we've seen this movie before. It's icing against Carolina. Nothing but positive reviews for Scott Gomez since his signing last week. But he needs to be on the score sheet. And he is looking for his first point as a Devil in the regular season since March of 2007. He's played well, but he's played with a lot of teammates. Devils have health issues. They've put him with different line mates all four games so far this season. Should that be difficult for him or not? Uh, it's tough to find some continuity, some chemistry for all the Devils right now, but there's no choice, Steve, because of the injuries that you mentioned. He set up a handful of Devils, could have a few assists, but they have not been able to put the puck in when he set them up. Had a good game in Toronto that wasn't reflective. The fact that he didn't get a point in that game of how he played. He was on the ice for some of the five that the Devils scored against Toronto last week. Puck battle in the corner. Sislo trying to dig it out here for New Jersey. The referee continues with side of the puck. It's jarred loose here. Jacob Josephson doing a lot of the dirty work as well. And finally, Carolina comes away with the puck. And it's taken away here by the Hurricanes. Deflects out of play for a stoppage with seven and a half to go in the opening period. Look at Dinah Zubris. Picked up a nice assist. The only goal the Devils scored against the Washington Capitals. Picked up a few as of late. Still looking to put pucks in. Had a great chance we just saw about a minute ago. But he continues to work hard. And uses size and strength, Steve. But with the Devils, Camilleri, Elias, guys like that down. They're going to need Dinah Zubris to to put some pucks in the back of the net, but I like the way he's played the last little while. Playing with Zubris for Yager is not a big adjustment. They spent a lot of time together last year with Travis Zajac on that line. Shot from the point to flex right to Corey Schneider. He juggles and covers up in front. That was Dwyer with the tip in front. Patrick Dwyer, and again, Corey Schneider's there to make the save. Here it is right here, Carolina. Forces a turnover in the devil zone. They move the puck, just get it toward the net. Dwyer in the high slot with a nice tip. Corey Schneider again out on the top of his crease. Spokane, Washington native Patrick Dwyer off the draw, taken here by the Czech defenseman Mikhail Jordan. And the Devils in the corner work it away to center. Pass 
intercepted at center ice by Michael Ryder, who darts back the other way for the Devils. Able to dish off. Here's Rutu sending it towards goal. Save made by Cam Ward. We're talking for this Carolina Hurricane team, Steve. They outshot Detroit 35-22 the other night. And they're another team like the Devils that feels they could have better results, but they struggle to put the puck in the net. To hold Detroit to 22 shots at 35 of your own. You'd think you played a pretty good game, but at the end of the night, the score sheet says 3-1. 3-1 to one for your opponent. And the Devils on Saturday out shooting the Caps 15-4 in that third period, but they have won just 3 of 10 at home, including that setback over the weekend. Misleading sometimes when you look at the shot's advantage. Maybe even most of the time, it seems, this season for New Jersey. Picked up here by Gomez. Works it across. Yager able to navigate through traffic. Tries to play it on a backhand to Zubris, but taken away by the Hurricanes. The best way you can describe that, Steve, is... You gotta put it in the net. Here's Skinner going wide on Zidlitsky. Got only so far, and Gomez reverses course with it. But the puck gathered up here by Carolina. Here's Nestrashill. Weaver pick up from Detroit. Andres Nestrashill, the 23-year-old. Turnaround shot in front with Skinner lurking at the doorstep, and that's blocked away. Bouncing puck at the point. Harrison trying to hold the zone, and Skinner. Stick handles through a couple of Devils, but it's taken away here by Zubris and punched ahead. Quickly played ahead. Here's Nestor Schill once again. Sharp angle try. That's fought off by Corey Schneider. Quickly on the puck. The Hurricanes are. They control once again. Loose at the side of the net. Jamming at it, Nestor Schill. Corey Schneider is there, and he holds on. 5.37 to go in the opening period. No score in Raleigh. Back in Raleigh, Devils fans, stay tuned for the first intermission report presented by GMC. There's a new fan experience at The Rock. We'll tell you all about it in the first intermission. First period stats, highlights, and more. Devils trying to move closer to third place in the Metropolitan Division. The good news on that front, the Penguins have taken a 1-0 lead over the Rangers. First period at Madison Square Garden. Coming up at the top of the hour, St. Louis Blues taking on Florida. Martin Brodeur starts his first home game for the St. Louis Blues tonight at the Scott Trade Center. His next win would be 690. Here we're scoreless as Damon Severson fires into the Carolina end. And another icing call. It's wash, rinse, repeat so far here in Carolina. Eric Stahl was on crutches after last night's game after a Justin Falk shot. One from his own teammate struck his foot. These are desperate times. He skated for 20 minutes this morning right to the treatment room, and it seemed as if there was never going to be any issue about whether or not he played, even though he was in a lot of pain last night. He was. These guys have a lot of pain tolerance in the National Hockey League, and he knows that he needs to be out there for the Carolina Hurricanes. He is durable. He's played 97% of the Hurricanes' games since he joined the team. Second overall pick back in that great 2003 draft. Here's Sakara gaining the zone for Carolina. Andy Green there to defend him. Puck taken away in the corner. Deflected off to Lusty and worked ahead by New Jersey. Low scoring game. Neither one of these teams are a stranger to them. For Carolina, it's just 58 goals for. Only Buffalo has scored fewer in the Eastern Conference coming into tonight. And even though Carolina played last night, they do not look like a tired team. They're moving their feet, moving the puck well. And the Devils have been fortunate here. Taken away here by Jacob Josephson. Three on one for the Devils. Josephson shoots and a save made by Ward. Well, good save by Ward. Toulouse darts back the other way. Saved by Schneider on the opposite end and gloved away by Zidlitsky. Cam Ward playing on back-to-back -back nights. He's battled some soreness recently. They have a good one. Their other goaltender in Anhan Hudobin. All the way back, and Ward plays the puck here. Deflected into the devil's end, and Schneider behind his net. Jordan 2-2 in his own zone, able to work the puck away. Played across, out of the reach of Gianta. Here's Peter Harrell for the Devils. Lifts it out to center, that's as far as he got. And quickly back the other way. Gurney with a shot, club saved by Schneider, who holds on. Boy, Schneider's been busy in this first period. There you see a little 
pushing and shoving after the save. Jordan Tutu involved. You would expect that when he's on the ice. The Devils get a rare outnumbered situation. Carolina turns the puck over to the Devils' blue line. Jacob Josephson with the three on one, although he was in pretty tight on the goaltender, and I don't mind that he elected to shoot. Steve, you got to get shots, and he put a pretty good shot upstairs on Ward. He just got the left shoulder on it, and the Devils are going to the power play as we speak. Jay Harrison getting a penalty here. First opportunity of the night for New Jersey. Tenth ranked power play in the National Hockey League. It was 0 for 2 against Washington as Bill Peters looks on. Harrison for a high stick at 16 13. Scott Gomez on the power play controls this off the faceoff. Two Hurricanes there to quickly collide on him. And now the reinforcements coming. Yager digging at the loose puck along with the ex Hurricane Tuomo Rutu. Puck battle along the far boards continues. Devils work it free. Neatly played by Gomez and got it back to the point. Shot by Severson is blocked away. And Pat Dwyer works this across shorthanded for Carolina. McClement hit by Zidlitsky. Gomez trying to work it free. Dwyer causing some havoc. Now the Devils will start up. A oh, real good work by the youngster Dwyer in the Devils zone. Hurricanes with the seventh rank penalty kill unit in the National Hockey League. Zidlitsky winds it around, around the shelf. Now Dwyer in the corner. Yaramir Yager guides it back to the point. Played across here by Severson. Trouble by Zidlitsky to control the puck. Severson dishes off, and here's Scott Gomez. Works it across. Zidlitsky plays it to the side of the net, and Yager controls. Gives here to Gomez. Scott Gomez back to the point. One-timer by Zidlitsky is blocked away in front and clear. Uh, blocked again. I think that was Justin Falk. He stopped the one-timer off of Zidlitsky stick. And a couple of passes just bounced on him where he would have had a lot more time and a cleaner look to shoot the puck, but not, unable to control it off of the pass. Half a minute to go in the Devils power play. Martin Havlak over the line, plays it behind the net. Sakara has to battle a couple of Devils for the loose puck. It's picked up here by McClement, and he backhands at the length of the ice. Terrific kill by the Hurricanes to this point. Time for another rush for the Devils as Merrill starts up with a dozen seconds left. Pavlak works it across, and now Henry able to pick up Ryder. Here's Michael Ryder. Out of the box, Harrison. We're back to five on five. Played back towards the point. Too hot to handle for Merrill. Even strength. And a terrific kill now. Celebrated by the fans here in Carolina. A oh, good kill, but the Devils just not sharp enough, Steve, on their passes on that first power play of the evening for them. Being outshot by a two-to-one margin now, 12-6 in favor of the Hurricanes. Now for the power play to be successful, those, that first pass, you have to be able to give it on the tape, but you have to also receive it. And the Devils' pucks were bouncing, giving Carolina time to set up. If they get it right away and shoot, they're not in the lane to block those shots. Power play tonight that's missing a couple of key contributors, obviously. Camilleri, the leading goal scorer. Patrick Elias, leading scorer in the history of the club. Players go tumbling to the ice. Elias Lindholm on the rush there for Carolina, but worked away by the Devils. And here's Sisla. Plays it across, thrown in front, and that puck steered aside by Ward. And it deflects out of play with a minute seven to go. The guy they have to rely on heavily all the time, Steve, but especially now with all the injuries the Devils have is Adam Henrique. And for me, he is the most complete player on this team. You see on the season, 15 points, seven goals, eight assists, and 20 games played. So if the Devils are going to pick up some points and Scratch and claw to find a way to win hockey games. Adam Henrique is certainly going to be a key. Zubris to take the draw to the right of Ward. They win it back, but we're going to do this one more time. Henrique led the Devils with a career-high 25 goals last season. We tend to forget sometimes, just his fourth full year in the National Hockey League. He was so instrumental in the run of the finals in 2012. 
2-2 with the soft shot. That triple just wide of the far post. Picked up here by Carolina. Back in his own end, 2-2. Banks it off the backboard, controlled by the Devils, and worked out to center. Here's Merrill on a delayed offside. Carolina couldn't touch it, and now Zidlitsky on the puck for New Jersey. Zubris crashing into the zone on Jordan. Puck yard loose. Here's Gianta at the side of the net. That came up high off the side of goal. Picked up here by Zubris. Half a minute to go in the opening period. Jordan 2-2 reverses course with the puck. Here's Gianta deep in the zone. Now Zubris on the puck for the Devils. Played into the corner and now 2-2. Devils trying to set up one last shot in the period. 15 seconds to go. Instead taken away by Carolina and dumped back in where Merrill will collect the loose puck in the final seconds of the opening period. Burst of speed for Gomez, but he'll run out of time. 20 minutes in the books and no score in Carolina. Shots on goal for the opening period, 12-6 in favor of the Hurricanes. The goalies, Corey Schneider, Cam Ward, have been perfect. What's been perfect back home, the fan experience of The Rock will tell you all about it on the GNC First Intermission Report. If you're looking for a fun family night out, purchase a Devil's Family Pack. Get four tickets, four hot dogs, four sodas for $99 on select games exclusively available at the Prudential Center box office. For more information, visit NewJerseyDevils.com slash family. Yaramir Yager, game number 1,500. Here's the breakdown. More than half of those games played for the team that drafted him fifth overall in 1990, the Pittsburgh Penguins. It was on to Washington for a 190-game stint. And then the Rangers, the team he played the second most games with at 277. There was the stop in Philadelphia, much to the chagrin of the fans in Pittsburgh. Brief stops in Dallas and Boston, and with the Devils earlier this season, he eclipsed 109 games. What if he didn't make the decision to go to Russia? 155 games for Omsk in the KHL. He'd probably be about top four in games played at this point. He has played a lot of hockey and no question, one of the greats of the game. And you mentioned going to Omsk, Steve, with 155 games played there as well. He's a guy that's durable. He's big. He's strong. You don't last till 42 years old. And that many games without having some size and strength and play through some injuries along the way. He's playing through a little bit of a bug here. He kind of acknowledged it today when asked whether he was feeling any better than Saturday. He said, well, not really. But again, very little chance he was going to miss the hockey game here tonight. Camilleri, Patrick Elias are out of the lineup and will begin period two. No score on the board. His former teammate and linemate, Ron Francis, is general manager of these Carolina Hurricanes. Here's Yager trying to put it towards goal and it's swatted away by Cam Ward. That was a special on-ice relationship that they shared. People forget, Yaga reminds us, he played a lot more with Francis than he did Mario Lemieux in his time in Pittsburgh. Dinah Zubers with just a terrific back check to divert a great scoring opportunity for the Canes in the park cross-ice pass in front of Corey Schneider. Picked up here by Jeff Skinner for Carolina. Punched across, and here's Zubris on the puck for New Jersey. He'll send it in and give chase. Yager following up. Zubris guides it back to the point, controlled by the Devils, and here's Andy Green. Soft shot that's stopped by Cam Ward. And worked out of the zone by Carolina. Opening minute, period two. Two teams that can really use a win at this point. Devils come into the game 10, 13, and 4. Carolina bringing up the rear in the Metropolitan Division at 8, 15, and 3. They're wrapping up a five-game homestand here tonight. Long pass for Adam Henrique. He's defended by Jordan. Puck picked up out of the corner and controlled here by Carolina. Cross-eyes pass. Played here to the stick of Nestrashill. Throws it in front for the cutting Sakara. Those two couldn't connect. Carolina will track this down along the near boards. Taken off the skate and worked across here. Sakara. Centering try. Defended away by Severson. And it comes here to the stick of Michael Ryder. Again, Carolina 
Putting some pressure on the Devils' end. All of the coverage. Real good by Damon Severson there. They're able to deflect the pass. Bouncing puck at center. Patrick Dwyer able to punch this into the Devils' end. John Merrill is back for New Jersey. Zidlitsky keeps the puck moving to Mike Sisla. Devils can't get it out of the zone. Instead, it's worked across. Chopping at the loose puck as Merrill can't get it out of the zone. Redirected towards goal, and it's off the side of Corey Schneider's goal. Havlat able to bank this off the near boards and back out the center. Picked up here by Sislo in the Carolina end. Taken in the corner, Zidlitsky funnels one behind. Controlled here by Havlat. He gives to Jacob Josephson. Sislo tries to throw one in front. That's blocked away by the Canes, and now Havlat works it back to the point. The shot by Andy Green is fired wide. Now Severson with the centering try. Loose puck sent back into the corner. Good pressure here by the Devils in this unit. And taken instead by the Canes. Devils with the first two shots here of period two as Riley Nash punches this out to center. Picked up by Andy Green, who fires in. Here's Jay McClement on the puck. Winds it around. Now the long pass. Come back the other way for an icing call. Well, let's take a look at the back check I was talking about from Dinah Zubis. You see him right here in front of the Carolina net. As they're in the... Kane's in, then it comes out, and Dinah Zubris continues to get back right there with the great stick. Yaga throws it in front, and the stop made by Ward. Zubris looking for the redirect, and the try here by Harold. Picked up here by Zubris, save made by Ward, and the rebound on the bouncing puck, unable to put it on goal, was Scott Gomez. Zubris in his own end, puck jarred loose and taken here by Gomez and the Devils. Terrific chance by New Jersey at the opposite end as it's punched out to center here. Justin Falk at center ice. Maneuvers around some traffic and continues to go. Here's Falk throwing it off the side of the net. Elias Lindholm takes this out of the corner and controls. Here's Lindholm, crosses up with Brad Malone, centering try to Malone, save made by Schneider, who holds on. A oh, good chance for the Canes, looked like Eric Jelena was interfered with there, giving Lindholm the real chance. Here's the Devils opportunity, Jager just shoots the puck to net, there you see Dinah Zubris right in front, able to get it back to Peter Harold, and Jager picks it up with the big save from Cam Ward in the high slot, and here's the Canes chance. Right out in front, Lindholm speeds Malone, and Schneider's there again for the Devils. Off the draw, controlled here by Carolina as Falk at the point sends it back in deep. Old tenders have been good in the early going. Eric Stahl with a centering try, and covering up in the blue ice again is Corey Schneider, who's on his game. Both old tenders. Schneider's been the busier of the two, although Cam Ward has... Had to make a couple of good saves. You saw him earlier here. About a shift to go. Now, Corey Schneider face off in the Devils end to the right for Schneider. Devils have won just once in their last seven. Got the sense today. Just a sense of urgency against a team that has struggled in Carolina. This will come back for another icing call. This time against New Jersey. I mentioned Yaramir Yaga, Ron Francis, teammates on the Pittsburgh Penguins for a good stretch of nearly a decade. Look at the comparison between the two teammates from 90 to 98. Yager, if he continues to play well, will catch Francis in points by the end of this year. But look at the awards. Five scoring titles and an MVP for Yager. A Selkie trophy and three Lady Bing trophies for Ron Francis. Yaga was reminding us today, Ron Francis is one of those players who always thought defense first and still ranks among the highest scoring players in the National Hockey League. That's an incredible, incredible bottom line. Wow, unbelievable. He was such a terrific two-way player. 1,700 games, though, is unfathomable at times. Picked up here by the Hurricanes and worked across. Now the general manager of the Carolina Hurricanes, Ron Francis, Jim Rutherford, his predecessor, now applying his trade in Pittsburgh. Picked up here by Ryder 
And this is sent the length of the ice. I have not tallied all of the icings yet. Maybe we should do that shortly. Nevertheless, let's flash back to Ron Francis, the incredible sentiment for Pittsburgh. But first, there's a Hartford Whaler down. Yeah, he was a youngster there. And then here you see him score a goal against Chicago for the Pittsburgh Penguins, raising the Stanley Cup as well. There with the Carolina Hurricanes, the captain. I played a long time against Ron Francis. And he just was one of those guys you knew played the game the right way. Both ends of the ring, neutral zone, you name it. He could play in every situation. And that Pittsburgh Penguins team had an awful lot of talent on it, didn't it? With a young Yager, Ron Francis, a veteran, the great Mario. They won two cups together, he and Yager, back in the early 90s. Sent back into the Devil's End. John Merrill in the corner battling for this. Sislo deep in his own end. Backs it off glass and out to center where Jay Harrison has this for Carolina. Still no score. Second period here in Raleigh. Lindholm will send this puck in deep and picked up here by Gerby. Nathan Gerby drops it back. Lindholm firing a shot that went wide. Jawed loose to the stick of Tulusti. Yuri Tulusti able to throw it in front. That deflected off Corey Schneider and the puck sent out of the zone. A lot of pressure by the Canes here and especially the defensemen so active in the offensive zone. They're coming all the way down below the hash mark, Steve, so the Devils wingers are going to have to make quick decisions with the puck. Come help the defenseman out really low in their own end. They control here at center. 2-2 tries to get it into the zone. Picked up here by Riley Nash and we've got a stoppage in play on an offside call. We'll step aside, 13.47 to go in the second, and we're scoreless in Raleigh. Time now for the Cadillac trivia question. You're looking at the winningest goaltender in Carolina Hurricanes history. We're going to bring the Devils into the mix, though, here. Three of the Whalers or Hurricanes' top ten goaltenders in terms of wins also played for the New Jersey Devils. Who are they? I think you're going to nail this. Yeah, you played with I every think, one of them. I think I can nail this one. This one's coming to the top of my head a little quicker than some of the other trivia questions, Steve. As soon as I heard the question, I got two right away. I was struggling for the third as we continue on here. And Peter Harrell is checked by Eric Stahl. Lindholm knocked down in the double zone. Kicked out at center by Jordan 2-2 and fired back in. The Rangers have come back to tie the Penguins 1-1 on a goal by J.T. Miller to answer the opening score by Nick Spalling. One of three games in the National Hockey League tonight, including this one scoreless in the second period. Backed out of the zone and back into the Carolina end. And let's dance again. It's icing <laughs> against New Jersey. Tuomo Rutu's having a good time here. I know some of the locals here call this God's country. Well, Tuomo Rutu will tell you he misses Carolina just in terms of quality of life. He loved his life here. The city, an extraordinary place to live, he recalled. He was a tough, serviceable player who scored 90 goals in his time with the Hurricanes. The Devils back in the spring wanted him. They got rid of Andre Lakdianov to get him. Lakdianov is now playing in the KHL. Played across. Falk with a shot that's off the side of Schneider's net. Here's Falk, able to give this up. Quick shot, blocked away in front. Bouncing puck controlled by the Hurricanes and a centering try. Comes back to the point. Here's Falk, wrist shot, he scores! Justin Falk, the man with the big slapper, got the wrist shot through. And the Hurricanes take a 1-0 lead. You could almost see it coming. Even though Carolina hadn't had a shot or registered a shot in four to five minutes, they spent so much time in the Devils' end. Devils unable to clear. There you see pucks bouncing. They get a few sticks and bodies on it. But again, right here, Bernier gets it and unable to clear it. He's uncertain how much time he had with that puck. And there's Paul. Puck comes right to him. Just a quick wrist shot through a screen. And the Canes take the lead. The bomber, Justin Falk, to open the scoring here. Let's see if that opens up the game a little bit. Riley Nash tries to throw one in front. Taken now by Dwyer and worked back to the point. Quick shot is blocked away. Picked off by Falk, given away by Hadlock. Quick shot, saved by Schneider. The rebound on a backhand goes wide. And the Devils get lucky there. They dodge a bullet on the giveaway. Dwyer trying to control, but puck gobbled up by Yager, and he sends Havlat back into the Kane zone. 
Here's Yaramir Yager controlling. Justin Falk, fourth goal of the season. Yager to Jelena on a shot that he fired wide. A good pass by Yager controlling the puck. Jelena holds again, sends one in front, deflects off a stick. Gomez is there, but the puck taken away, and Dwyer controls for Carolina. Riley Nash softly dumps in. Carolina uses this for a full change in the period of the long change. Schneider has this behind his net. Unassisted goal by Justin Falk to open the scoring. Picked away here by Carolina and played across. Harrison with a shot, and it's held by Corey Schneider. Well, Devils have to change the tempo of this hockey game. Get physical, maybe take the body a little bit. The chains are a step quicker on the puck right now, Steve. And we know they played last night. I don't always put a lot of stock in that because when you play back-to-back -back games at home, doesn't mean you're not going to have legs, but they have been the quicker team right now. And Devils scrambling here, down one, or no one to nothing. Off the draw, taken here and played here by Rutu. Tomo Rutu shoots, and he fires that away. Picked up here by Stahl in the Carolina end. Intercepted by Henrique, but punched away by the Hurricanes. Here's Lindholm over the line. Elias Lindholm shoots, and a save made by Schneider. Devils punch it back, but just a touch too far for Rutu and Henrique. Otherwise, a possible two-on-one. Yeah, that was going to be just a little too far. Would have been a clear-cut two-on-one from center ice. Punch back to the stick of Harrison. Here's John Merrill at center for the Devils, and he fires back in. Adding assists now on the Carolina goal to Nestrashill and Rask at 7-11 for the opening goal of the night. Well, I'm not sure there should have been any assists there as it came from a double, Steve, but we know certain places can be very generous on the assist because the puck just came back to Falk. They might have touched it before. Bernier got the puck, but he was the one who gave it to Falk. If they did, that was the most incidental contact you're going to see. <laughs> Devils trail by a goal. Schneider winds this around. Puck taken away in the corner. Rask battling in the corner here for Carolina. He's tied up by John Merrill. Eric Zedlitsky all over to Lusty, and the puck taken away by the Devils as Josephson gets us as far as a center ice, and that's all. Now Nestrashill on the puck for Carolina. Picked up at center ice, controlled here. Mike Sislo darts into the Carolina end, delivers a bump. Puck jawed loose, now Jelena trying to keep it in the zone, but it comes back out to center. Nestrashill plays it ahead. Quick shot by Rask, and it's fought off by Corey Schneider. Off to the races, Eric Jelena back the other way. Tried to dish it off for Gomez, intercepted by the Hurricanes, and here's Nash. Able to play it across, they shoot, big save by Corey Schneider, who holds on. He denies Patrick Dwyer and keeps it a one-goal game. Right here, Devils look like they're okay, but unable to make the pass. Eric Jelena over to Scott Gomez. He's got to be certain there. Carolina counterattacks. And Dwyer wide open on the pass from Riley Nash. Beautiful opportunity there. Corey Schneider again keeps us a one-goal game. So the Devils have to be a little smarter here, Steve, as far as when to chip it deep, when to make a play. And there they had to get that puck deep as Carolina was able to pick off that backhanded pass. Face off to the right of Corey Schneider. Gianta wins it clean from Eric Stahl. And played back into the Hurricanes end. one nothing game on the goal by Justin Falk here in the second period. Tumbling to the ice is Skinner. And a penalty call here against the Devils. And Damon Severson is the player heading off. Well, Damon Severson got his stick up high here in the neutral zone. You like his aggressiveness. You know, you got to finish on skilled, swift players like Jeff Skinner. But he gets up high. Right there, you see... Puck goes forward, just forward, and then just a little bit high 
in defense of Damon Stevenson. Skinner had been looked like he was already starting to fall a little bit. And I don't think Stevenson got him in the face more on the shoulder, but it was a little high, so then we'll go back in the PK. You don't see that call often in open ice. Damon Severson for roughing at 10.33. Kane's power play is 0 for 1, but it had three shots on that first chance, and it goes to work once again at the side of the net. There's Stahl digging at the loose puck. The outstretched pad of Corey Schneider. This puck is still alive. Referee right there, and it's sent back to the point by Skinner. Sakara. Back to Skinner. His wrist shot is blocked away. Merrill taken here by Eric Stahl. Stahl centering try off the back of Corey Schneider. It's still a loose puck and taken here by Tulusti. Holding the zone is Sakara. Eventful first half minute of the power play and Carolina looks to set up again. Bouncing puck played across. John Michael Lyles trying to control. Puck played here around the boards and Adam Henrique gets the much needed clear. And the Devils will look to get the change here. We talked about the Carolina offensive struggles. Steve, you mentioned their goals for, but boy, on this, there are two power play opportunities. And early in this second one here, they moved the puck extremely well. Sislo on the penalty kill. So is Peter Harrell, paired with Andy Green on defense. Jacob Josephson out to continue to kill as well. Worked across here to fall. Able to drop it back. Kane set up at the circle. Got it back to the point where Rask is able to dish this off. Deflected towards goal. Picked up here by Nash. And the Canes keep the pressure on here. Under half a minute to go in the Devils' penalty kill. Got it back to the point. Rask able to keep it in. Pressure time here for Carolina. Here's Victor Rask. The Swede, the quarterback on the power play. Gloved by Corey Schneider. And the clock stopped with 15 to go on the Canes power play. Canes spending a lot of time in the Devils zone. Look at some of the replays there. Skinner to stall in front. He tries to spin around, get a backhand shot there. Puck along the right post. And Corey Schneider's able to keep that out of the net with some help from John Merrill there. But the Hurricanes hungry, digging, jabbing at the loose puck. And Corey Schneider denies them. And as his penalty winds down, Canes getting their chances, Steve. Gianta Henrique continue the kill. Chased out is McClement. Brad Malone steps in to take the draw. Won by the Devils. Merrill winds it around. And the puck off an imperfection in the boards. Fortunate for the Devils comes out to center. Falk able to play this across. Final seconds of the Canes power play. Guided back to the point and Sakara gives this up. Severson's out of the box and the puck to Damon Severson. Trying to track this down. All the momentum for Justin Falk as he got back to deny Damon Severson. That was dodge a bullet. Kill that penalty. Only down one. Now they need some offense. they got to get some shots. Route 2 works it across. Taken here by the Devils. Deflected in front. Right through the skate of Adam Henrique. And out to center. Controlled by New Jersey. Route 2 able to gain the zone for the Devils. Here's Tuomo Rutu, drops it back, Sidlitsky fires, and he blasted that off the boards behind Cam Ward. Sidlitsky, one of the best slap shots on the Devils and in the NHL, quite frankly. I don't think Cam Ward saw that one as it whistled wide, but... Sakara able to work this out of the zone. Another icing call is coming up here. Face off back in the Carolina end. This spring, Broadway's biggest spectacular will be at Radio City Music Hall. The New York Spring Spectacular, starring the Rockettes. It's March 12th through May 3rd. Visit rockettes.com slash spring. Not far from Radio City is Madison Square Garden. Rick Nash has scored his 18th of the year. Rangers have come back to take a 2-1 lead on Pittsburgh. Timeout called here by Carolina coach Bill Peters on the heels of his team icing the puck. Well, they're up one nothing. He feels it's an important time here. His troops are tired. They have to go back for the faceoff. So there's one we got any chance here. There's some tired guys. Peter Boer playing without some key members of his. Top six, Patrick Eliash, Mike Camilleri, sideline due to injury tonight. 
You work with what you have. It'll be Scott Gomez, Martin Havlock, and Yaramir Yager put together on this shift for the Devils as they look to get the game tied. Scott Gomez in just his fourth game back with New Jersey, and he wins the draw. Here's Yager on the far side. Sakara able to wind it around. Referees are saying this deflected off a stick and or rather deflected off glass. It'll stay in the Carolina end. Bills have to find something, Steve, anything to get this game going in the right direction for them. They've only had four shots in the second period. The Canes have put more pressure on Corey Schneider and then again, I mentioned a half step quicker for the Devils have to do something, whether it's a hit to spark their team here. They're only down one. That's the good news, but they got to get playing better. Jordan played it ahead, picked up here by Carolina and sent into the Devils zone. They continue to lead 1-0 on the goal by Falk. Zidlitsky versus it across, and now Gomez able to gain the zone. Tries to work it across. Yager was tied up, but Havlot plays it behind the net. Here's Scott Gomez, centering try. Yager shoots a save made by Ward, and he's got it somewhere in the equipment. One of the best chances for the Devils in the game so far. 5.51 to go in the second. Cadillac trivia question and answer time. Lineage of the Hurricanes franchise goes back to the old Hartford Whalers. Three of the top ten winningest goaltenders in the club's history also played for the Devils. Who are they? Dano, your ex-teammates were? I'm probably going to go the toughest one. Peter Sidorkowicz. Very good. Sean Burke and Kevin Weeks. One, two, and three. Well done, sir. Kevin Weeks. Memorable playoff series against the New Jersey Devils. Earlier in the 2000 decade. Picked up here by Carolina. And controlled now by Dwyer. Able to work it across, and Justin Falk will play it in. One nothing game. Hurricanes took the lead on a fault goal. Worked across. Devils able to gain the zone. Here's Severson. Cross eyes pass through traffic. Broken up by Gerby and taken by Carolina. Yeah, Devils just unable to penetrate. Intercepted by Scott Gomez. Centering try. One timer by Yager. He scores. Yaramir Yager in his 1500th National Hockey League game evens the score for New Jersey. Well, just as I was saying, Devils unable to penetrate and get anything through the Carolina defense. They turn the puck over. Scott Gomez, Johnny on the spot. You can see right here. Canes look like they're under control here. They turn the puck over. Scott Gomez skates right into it, finds Jeremy Yager in the high slot. And he wastes no time with a one-timer. Quick shot. Past Cam Ward. Scott Gomez with his first assist as a New Jersey Devil this year. And that was a heck of a pass by Scotty Gomez. And a good read to intercept a clearing attempt by the Carolina Hurricanes. His first point of the season. Congratulations to him and for Yaramir Yager. Career goal number 710. His fifth of the year. Gomez gets the lone assist. And the Devils looking for more now as Zablitsky takes behind the net. Marek Zidlitsky cycles into the corner and gets it back here from Henrique. Shot by Zidlitsky is tipped. Loose puck in front. Not cleared out of the zone as Zidlitsky is able to hold. Played here by Michael Ryder. Gets around stall and that shot wouldn't go. Picked up again. Devils now with all the pressure and momentum after the tying goal by Yager. Line pass across though is taken here by Jeff Skinner. He can skate with the best of them, goes wide, but fires it and it deflects out of play. 710 career goals for the man who wears 68. He recently passed Mike Gardner for seventh all time to move into the sixth position. Phil Esposito would be the next to be eclipsed. Seven more. And if Yager heats up, we've learned that can happen quickly. Steve, I don't think I scored 710 goals in my career of playing hockey, and that includes practice. So Yager continues. 
to have a great career. And that is a big goal for the Devils. It really changed things. You mentioned it. The Devils started to get some pressure, get some chances. Let's see if they can sustain that. Finding the all-time scoring lead as well in terms of points. We'll touch on that as we move along. Let's watch the Hurricanes here and Jordan move it away. Here's Andre Sequeira who banks it away. Picked up at center ice, controlled by the Devils. Here's Gianta who puts the brakes on. Waits for his team to make the change and drop back here to John Merrill. Under four minutes to go, second period of a 1-1 game. Scott Gomez at center ice. Wheels, deals, and fires. Cam Ward, yes, he's paying attention. He catches and leaves. Taken at center ice by Andy Green. Here's Severson, works it across for Gomez. Scott Gomez, cross ice pass, able to pick up Severson. Throws one towards goal, collected by Sakara. Now Gomez drops it back to the point, and Green with a shot that's blocked away in front. Skated away by Carolina, and Gerby takes a hit up high from Andy Green, and there's a penalty coming up for that. Well, we saw Andrew Nestor show go off right here as he blocked that big blast from Andy Green and now Andy Green's going to go to the penalty box. You see right here, we'll see Nathan Gerby there. Tries a little bit of a hot dog play, tried to flip it, I think over Andy Green's stick and ends up going all the way to Chatter, I should say over to Andy Green's head. It looked like Andy Green didn't like that <laughs> maneuver and uh, he, he ended up coming up high, not easy to come up or not hard to come up high on Nathan Gerby, obviously, but again, you got to be careful of that stick, and this is an important kill for the Devils. A couple of Michigan guys go head-to-head -head there. Andy from Trenton, Nathan from Oxford. Power play here for Detroit. Played back, quick shot, blocked away in front, picked up here. Lindholm in the corner has got this for Carolina. Key sequence in the game, a big kill opportunity here for the Devils. Here's Falk. Another wrist shot that's blocked away. Swatted at by the Devils. Gloved down by Gianta. And at least pushed out the center by New Jersey. Awfully tough to get that puck out of the zone. Puck's bouncing everywhere. Finally, Gianta with the clear. Here's Lindholm carrying over the line. Elias Lindholm. Olympic silver medalist with Team Sweden last year at a very young age. He's only 20 now. Poked out of the zone. And Falk will have to retreat here for Carolina. Played ahead to Riley Nash. Puts the brakes on and sends it in deep. Get a stoppage in play here. Let's see what we have. Too many Carolina Hurricanes, it looks like. Too many men on the ice. And indeed, this will even things up. You saw the linesman, Steve. You're counting while the whistle was blown and there were still six guys on the ice. So the Canes get they have a mental lapse at their bench because they had six guys on for a while. Minute five left in the penalty to Andy Green and then an abbreviated Devils power play after that. So the bench minor to be served by Jeff Skinner. And we'll watch four on four here. Michael Ryder to take the draw, and he wins it back. He's paired here with Martin Havlat. Gloved down by Havlat, trying to shake loose of Falk. It's a backhand try away and a save by Ward. Havlat trying to come off the boards with it, bothered just enough by the Canes, and worked across to Marek Zidlitsky. Zidlitsky taking his time. Patient approach by the Devils. They know Green will be out of the box shortly, but the takeaway here by Carolina, and back the other way comes Talusti. Yuri Talusti holds, drops it back for Sakara. Fought off by Ryder and collected here by Havlat for the Devils. Eric Stahl will track this down at center and play it ahead. Final 20 seconds of the four-on-four, -four, and then Andy Green will come out. Michael Ryder starts up in the meantime and gives to Yaramir Yager. Here's Yager carrying over. Plays it behind goal. Zidlitsky waiting on the opposite side. Deflects off the boards. Quickly picked up by Carolina. Played across here. McClement to the stick of Dwyer. And the kick save is made by Schneider. Out of the box is Green. Devil's power play begins now as it's played back here to Scott Gomez. 
just under a minute to go in the period as well, Steve. So Devils are going to have to hurry up and try and get themselves a scoring chance and maybe take the lead. Gomez works it across. Here's Yager. Back to Gomez. Here's Yago controlling in the corner. Got it away from Harrison. Guided back to the point beautifully. And now Merrill plays this. Plays it across. Here's Zidlitsky at the top. Feeds to Merrill at the circle. Here's John Merrill. Half a minute to go in period number two. Drop back to Zidlitsky. Played across. The quick shot by Yager, and that doesn't go. 20 seconds left in the period. Played here to Gomez. Centering try. Taken by Yager. Trying for the wraparound. Loose in front. They score! Adam Henrique with the finish off the feed from Yager. And the Devils take the 2-1 lead. Real good work down low by this power play unit. Credit John Merrill. 20, 25 seconds before this. Just real good vision, patience with the puck. Allowing the Devils to set up a little bit. There you see Merrill. And along the wall, keeping the play alive, but he really set things up. And there Gomez again gets involved. Yager with the quick, quick wraparound after the feed from Gomez. And there's Adam Henrique right in the slot area with the right spot, shall I say. And he puts it into the empty net. Give the Devils a 2-1 lead. So real, real good work. But I credit John Merrill. He's not going to get a point or on the score sheet on this play, but he did a real nice job along the left side boards, keeping that play alive for a while. Well, you looked at Adam Henrique as a key early in the hockey game. That's his eighth goal of the season, and a big one as the Devils lead for the first time tonight. And the second period with that comes to its conclusion, and the Devils with the lead going to the locker room in Raleigh. Henrique from Yager and Gomez at 19.46 for the 2-1 to one advantage. Shots on goal in the hockey game so far, 23-15 in favor of Carolina. This reminder, skate down to Prudential Center after class for the Devils 2014-2015 College Knights. Upcoming games include tomorrow night, December night, against the Chicago Blackhawks. Tickets are available with a valid student ID. At a special price to purchase tickets, visit NewJerseyDevils.com slash college or call 1-800-NJ-DEVIL. Back here in Carolina, quite a response here by the Devils in period number two late. We see Scott Gomez get involved with things now along with Yager. Yeah, Scotty Gomez and Yager turned this game around for the Devils. They didn't have a whole lot of points, Steve, that period. Kind of, you never wonder why. All of a sudden it clicks, they get the quick goal, and then they seem to really pick up their play. They had a lot of chances after that. It was the first 14 minutes of the second period. Really nothing going on, only four shots down, one nothing. Give Corey Schneider a lot of credit, too, after 40 minutes. He made some key, key saves to make it 1-0. Right, let's so go down, keep it at 1-0. Let's go downstairs. This is Scott Gomez's fourth game as a devil. He's celebrating his name on the score sheet for the first time. The consensus was, Scott, you were playing well coming into tonight. But is, does it almost validate it to see your name with an assist now? No, the main thing is, uh, is points, two is wins. To get in the playoffs, uh, learn from the guy you're sitting right next to. That's uh, that's all secondary. We. Uh, <laughs> Hey, uh, you know, everyone's got to do their job. My job's past the puck. Actually, I get in trouble not shooting it, but uh, points, no, that doesn't matter. Uh, we want the wins. Uh, hockey's the funnest when we're in, in playoff mode, and uh, well, let's face it, we're in December. we got to start putting things together, so uh, now I can care less. Whoever gets uh, the points, that's good. Oh, Scotty, you, you got to be proud that some of the guys are finally finishing off some of your passes, and you're absolutely right to take the lead. You noticed earlier on, though, from our vantage point, you guys didn't have a whole lot going. We're going to see your First assist, tying the hockey game with Yarmo Yager's goal. Now your second one right here, Scotty, with a real good read and anticipation. What turned this period around? Because Carolina seemed to be a step quicker for most of the night. Corey Schneider made some big saves. Do you attribute one thing, uh, something said on the bench, or you, know, you got going after that? You're right, Dan. I think we were uh, maybe being too cute. I mean, you look at that first power play we got in the first period. I mean, it looked great, but we didn't even get a shot on net. I think... Uh, you know how it is, uh, kind of got to play Ken Danico style sometimes, just <laughs> bury your head, don't even worry about the puck, just go to the net. And uh, I think we were just getting a little too cute. And, um, you know, I think uh, the chemistry with each line is starting to come together. And uh, let's face it, with, uh, with the guy that's got that many points, uh, he knows where to get open, and that's my job to, to get it there. And I think Marty, uh, 
Marty just creating and obviously Rico there. But, you know, we uh, we got to get a little sharper in our D zone. There's no question about it. We're making it too hard uh, not getting that first pass out. But, um, hey, we'll take the lead 2-1, to one and, uh, you know, we got to get two points out of this. All right, good luck in the third, Scott. Yeah. Thank you. I'm not sure about Kenny's tie there, but sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and always, on, always the jokester. <laughs> and on that note, the second intermission report begins in just a few moments. Two-point night for Gomez and Yager. Henrique, the go-ahead goal. It's 2-1 New Jersey. Here are your second period highlights. Early on, all Carolina Hurricanes. Malone in front, stopped by Schneider. Again, Schneider closing the door, but the puck is cleared right back to Falk, and he's able to give the Canes a 1-0 lead with the quick wrist shot through a maze of players. The Canes kept coming. Another glorious chance for Dwyer all alone. Corey Schneider keeps it 1-0. Now the Devils get their chance in the second period. Scotty Gomez finds Yarmar Yager. Cam Ward wasn't sure where that puck was, but he's able to squeeze it, make the save. But if you don't succeed at first, try and try again. Gomez finds Yager again. He ties the hockey game up with the quick one-time wrist shot. Shortly after on the power play near the end of the period. Devils tie the game, or go ahead with the Adam Henry goal. As we get set for the second period underway. And Devils want to look for this third period, play a little better defensively. As they really picked up the pace. Loose in front of Corey Schneider, and it's swept away to the stick of Yaramir Yager. Played back into the Carolina end. And Justin Falk is on the puck here. Shots 23-15 in favor of Carolina. Andre Sequeira back in his own end. Two-point night for Yaramir Yager and Scott Gomez for New Jersey. Here's Toulouski on the puck for Carolina. His shot looks for a lane blocked away in front and collected here by the Hurricanes. Rask fighting for it deep in the devil's zone. He's tied up by Adam Henrique, charred loose. Nestrashill in the corner, guided back towards the point, but it comes out of the zone. Well, as we start the third here, Candy Devils really picked up the pace we saw late in the second. Here's Toulouski at the circle. He shoots, save made by Schneider, loose at the side of the net, and Rask is quickly on it. Victor Rask able to guide this back. Wrist shot from the point is blocked away, and the puck deflects out of play. That was Jordan looking to send it through a lot of traffic. This is what the Devils are trying to avoid. We saw a lot of the second. Carolina comes out strong in the third, but here's the go-ahead goal on the power play into the period. And Adam Henrique off the, off the Yermer Yager wraparound on another feed from Scotty Gomez to Yager. And he is there on the doorstep to put it in the empty net. And the Devils, again, didn't have much going. But it really seemed to give them life and play much better the rest of the second. There wasn't much time left. But here in the third again, Carolina coming on. Nash wins the draw back for Carolina. Here's Peter Harrell able to deny Carolina. And it comes away to the stick of Dinah Zubris. Riley Nash plays it off the backboard, given away by Falk to the stick of Zubris. Here's Zubris in deep, crosses up with Bernier. Guided back towards the point where John Merrill will punch it back in. Now skated away by Andre Sekera. Slovakian defenseman works it across, and Gerby denied at the blue line by Harrell. The diminutive Nathan Gerby, 5'5", out of Boston College. NCAA collegiate champion in his days with the Eagles. Taken here by the Canes. And the quick shot and the save made by Schneider. Henrique tied up in his own zone. Puck taken here by Gomez. He lost control. Quick shot. Goes wide of goal. And at the opposite side, it's Chris Terry for the Canes. Terry backhands one in deep. Here's Peter Harold reversing course, but Terry on the puck once again. Off the side of the net, picked up here by John Merrill. Kicked out soccer style by Hadlat, and he's able to send Yaramir Yager on his way. Well, there's not much time to move the puck. The Canes are on top of the Devils in their own zone. Finally, they get a clear and an icing. 
Three minutes in to period three. As Dinah Zuber shakes it off. Now we see Dinah Zuber. He went off for an extended period in the second period. Now he's back out there. There you see in the second where he was injured, Kanji. I'm not sure exactly what it was, something with the leg. But good to see him back. Here's Falk with a shot that doesn't get through. Still loose and poked away by Adam Henrique. Chart out to center where Falk will play this across for Sakara. Andre Sakara and the Hurricanes. But the lead slip away here before the home crowd tonight. He's checked by Zablitsky deep in the zone. Lindholm tied up behind the net. Puck taken away here by Henrique for the Devils who lifts it away. Eric Stahl gloved it down. Carolina quickly back in, and the shot by Falk is blocked away by Corey Schneider. Kept in by the Hurricanes, and Falk sends it right back in deep. Pressure here by Carolina in their efforts to tie the game, but the loose puck taken here by Zablitsky, and he works it ahead, and the Devils come back the other way. Dumped in deep by Tuomo Rutu, and he delivers a big hit in the corner, and there's a penalty coming up against Tuomo Rutu. Andres Nestrashil is the player who went hard into the boards. Oh, dangerous hit there from Cuomo Rutu. We got to take a look at it. And if, in fact, Nestrashil was completely turned and he was just completing or finishing his check, we'll see if it's a two or maybe more, Steve. Oh, check that. It's your Dan, Dano. My apologies. You're, you're, you're absolutely right. It was tough to see there. It's Jordan, the defenseman. You see right here, both guys going for the puck, and he's not that far behind him, so it looks like it's only a two-minute penalty. But as you see, we talk about this all the time. The defenseman gets their back turned. However, in this day and age, and now the new rules, you have to let up there if you can at all, and Luther just trying to finish the check. So again, the game's going the power play and with a chance to tie this hockey game. And I think he's probably fortunate, Steve, that because the way Jordan went in, it, it was only a two-minute minor. It wasn't more serious. Formal route two for boarding, and the Canes power play gets to work here. Off the draw, Nash nearly had it won back, taken away by the Devils and shorthanded. It's Jacob Josephson who dumps in. He's on the kill with Adam Henrique, John Merrill, and Andy Green, the defensive pair for the Devils in a key moment in the hockey game. Falk drops it back. Here's Rask. Stick handles his way into the zone and drops it back. Kirby works it across and the cane set up. Here's Rask with a shot. Blocked away. Off Merrill. Loose puck is fired the length of the ice by Gianta. And John Merrill again right in the middle of it. Blocked that shot and Steven Gianta gets the clear. Canes start up once again. Minute 15 to go in the Carolina power play. Taken by Eric Stahl. Hurricanes captain controls and now looks to set up. Crosses up with Skinner. That's the dangerous duo on now for Carolina. Here's Stahl at the side of the net. Got a shot away on Schneider who made the save. Picked up here by Skinner. His shot saved by Schneider again. Two big saves by Schneider and Rask behind the net. Here's Stahl. Carolina buzzing on the power play. Comes back here to Skinner. His wrist shot, gloved at by Schneider. Poked away by Merrill, but not out of the zone as it's punched back in. Here's Skinner once again. Haynes continue to control. Pass gets by Eric Stahl, but it winds around here to the stick of Rask. Now Skinner, 26 seconds to go in the power play. Rask into the high slot. Sislo tying up his man. Puck still loose. Canes working for the circle. Shot by Skinner is blocked away and cleared by Henry. Canes again moving the puck well, getting some chances. Great block again by John Merrill. He's had a real strong game. Good work by Sislo up front as well. Final seconds of the Carolina power play as Sakara fires in. Out of the box is Cuomo Rutu, and that is one of the big kills New Jersey's had so far this year. Yeah, they, were, they were able to dodge a bullet. Got some help from their goaltender, Corey Schneider. You see Eric Stahl from a sharp angle just taking that puck to the net, trying to squeak one through. Then Jeff Skinner, you talked about him being ever so dangerous. And there's John Merrill with the block shot off Skinner. 
And the clears for the Devils. Able to kill off that boarding call by Tuomo Rutu. And Carolina has come out strong this first six minutes. Malone will take the draw after McClement is chased out for Carolina. Off the draw taken by Dinah Zubris. Two on one for the Devils. Here's Zubris. He's got Yager with him. Plays it across, but it's off a of Kane's stick and broken up. I think that was Havlitt, Steve, with Yager, but regardless, unable to get the clean shot. We'll step aside in Carolina. 13.44 to go in the third. 2-1, New Jersey. Here's the game recap brought to you by Tri Honda Dealers. Big night for Yaramir Yager. It's his 1500th NHL game. He has his 710th goal and 1,062nd assist. Scott Gomez, a couple of helpers. Justin Falk has the goal for Carolina tonight. 2-1 Devils trying to bounce back from the loss Saturday against Washington as Falk fires into the New Jersey end. Here's Scott Gomez controlling. Good to chat with Scott in the second intermission. Centering try in front. It's loose. Rask tries to get a shot away. Punched away by the Devils. Havlat trying to work it out of the zone. Instead picked up here by Toluski. Backhand try. Blocked away by Green. Yuri Toluski on the puck once again. Sends it towards goal and that deflects to the left of Schneider. And lifted away by Gomez and the Devils. Well, the Devils have to clear the puck the first attempt they get. Carolina's defense are pinching constantly and Devils getting caught. Trying to just a soft chip off the board, Steve. Comes back towards the point. Shot by Hainsey is blocked away. Nestrashill fighting for it. Back to Hainsey again. His shot fired away wide. Harrison pinching in on the opposite side. Hurricanes keep the Devils pinned in. Hainsey again throws it towards goal and a stop made by Schneider. Corey Schneider has stopped 30 of 31 Carolina shots to this point. Henrique twisting and turning. Avoids Hainsey, picked up here by Riley Nash, and the Hurricanes dart back the other way. Here's Nash working it across. Back in the Devils' end where Steven Giant is on it and plays it back. Here's Merrill for the Devils who punches it ahead. They pick up Bernier at center ice. Here's Steve Bernier. Gianta heading for the net. He's denied by Nash. Picked up here by Bernier and sent back in deep. Sakara comes out of the corner with it. Shakes away from Gianta. And that pass intercepted by Bernier. It's chippy as the Devils send it back deep into the Carolina end. John Michael Lyles on the puck for the Hurricanes and sent into the devil zone. Full change for Carolina. 11 and a half to go in the third. Severson across for Randy Green. Banked into the Carolina end. Harrison back. It's an icing call here against New Jersey. Go back to Dinah Zubers in the second period. Looks like he goes in the wall. Everybody crashes together. Peter Harrell involved as well. And let's look at this again. We're looking to find out where he was hurt. Maybe if it was from that second. Look, Steve, you see him go off. Favoring. Oh, he might have been cut. You see the blood in the on the sock, so it looked like he might have been cut by a skate blade. Kept alive here by Falk. Trying to dance through traffic. It's loose in front. Stahl tried to turn around and shoot, but it deflected away wide. Dinah Zubris being tended to in the Devils locker room right now. Quick shot there by Skinner. Takes a hit from Yaramir Yager. Picked up here by the Hurricane. Centering try. Yager now is on the loose puck. And at least gets it out to center for New Jersey. Here's Lyles, the defenseman into the attack, and Yager is able to break that up at the line. Well, Carolina putting all kinds of pressure on the Devils, but they're staying in good position. They've spent most of this period in their own end. However, Carolina not get it, getting a lot of real good chances. They did have a few, so the Devils are going to have to try and change that momentum. Here's Ryder. Can't beat his man, and Harrison, and the puck taken here by Carolina. 
approaching the midway mark of period three. 2-1, Devils lead it. Glad you've joined us on this Monday night on MSG+. Plus. Offside is the call here. Tonight's upcoming schedule is brought to you by Lexus. Devils and Blackhawks. Tomorrow night, we're live at The Rock, 7 o'clock on MSG+. Plus. Then it's off to Philadelphia on Thursday on MSG. And the Devils and the Dallas Stars, 8.30 p.m. on MSG+. Plus. Saturday night, Visa Devils game night starts our coverage half an hour prior to each of those telecasts. Being outshot by more than a 2-1 to one margin, the Devils, but they're playing with the lead 2-1 to one in Raleigh. Merrill banks this away. Gianta delivers a hit. Puck winds around to the stick of Yuri Talusti, who works it across. And Harrison able to pick up Nestor Schill at center. He's sealed off neatly by John Merrill. Devils keep the puck moving. Gianta reaches out and banks it out to center ice. Oh, smart play. Getting that puck up high and out of the zone as he saw Sakara again. Hurricanes are pressing. All five guys in the defense can come down awfully quick on the half wall. Picked up here by Yager. Able to drop this for Gomez. Weaves his way into the Carolina end. Scott Gomez drops it back. Quick shot by Peter Harold is blocked away in front. And off to the races come the Hurricanes. This is Falk trying to beat his man in Andy Green. Got a shot away but deflected wide. Well played by Andy Green as he gets it out to Yager at center. Here's Yager turning with it. Worked it across. Pass intercepted by Gerby. Here's the 5'5 five five Dynamo for the Hurricanes. Plays it towards Schneider. And the stick save by Corey Schneider. Henrique trying to stay with his man. Hurricanes trying to get the game tied. 8.45 to go in the third. Derby dances around one man. Now collides with Lindholm. Lifted away by the Devils. And Yager will punch it back into the Canes end. Here's Hainsey playing at the center, and Lindholm back into the double zone. Swatted away by Schneider, and now Merrill winds it around to the stick of Tomo Rutu. Finds Michael Ryder. Here's Ryder. Plays it in front. Severson with a shot, and that went wide. Oh, well, best chance of the period, or maybe the only chance for the Devils. Eric Stahl and the Hurricanes slowed up at the blue line. It's offside with an 8-11 to go in the third. And the Devils continuing to lead by one. Three Carolina Hurricane circled. You know they're pressing to get the equalizer. So they're caught down low. Devils recognize this nice little flip pass from Route 2 to Ryder. They outnumber the Canes. Damon Severson breaking in. This is a beautiful backhand pass and recognition of seeing Severson coming late. And he sees a wide open Adam Henrique looking for the empty net tip in. And Adam Henry puck just bounces over him there, Steve. That would have been a goal. That would have been nice for the Devils. Get some breathing room here. But Severson with a real heads-up play. And the puck just bounced over Henry's stick. Eight more minutes to go in regulation time as it's nursed out to center by Bernier. Here's Falk back to collect. And he gives to Lyles. Hurricanes have the lead initially. Two unanswered by the Devils back in the second as Schneider. Has this behind his net and gives to Zidlitsky. Tried the touch pass for Bernier. Taken instead by Carolina. And here's Rask in the corner. Devils tie up Rask. Nestor Schill comes out of the corner with it. Played across by Lyles to the stick of Falk. And that's fired away. Schneider with the save at the doorstep. On Victor Rask lurking in front. He's a nice looking player, this Victor Rask. The youngster is... Got a good nose for the net and played pretty well for Carolina. He gets an opportunity again there as you see him skate off the ice. They have another good young player in the system that they're hoping for along with Lindholm to be the future of this team up front. Both Swedes, in Rask's case, a second round pick in 2011. Good start for him. Nine points in his first 25 NHL games. Devils continue to lead though. And worked across here. Martin Havlock on the puck. Drops into the corner for Yager. Played behind the net. That's broken up by Hainsey. And punched away by the Hurricanes. 
Nathan Gerby darts into the double zone. Little toe drag move, that shot blocked away off a of body in front. McClement trying to control, instead feathered out of the zone by Martin Havlock. That gives the Devils a chance to change here. You know, don't get fancy right now or cute. Just chip it off the wall when you have that chance to clear. That's what Havlock did. Picked up here by the Canes. Another save made by Corey Schneider. Turnaround shot by Gerby. Saved by Schneider. Oh, the rebound sitting there, and that was fired wide. Held in by Jordan at the point. And Rutu gets rid of it quickly and played across here by John Merrill into the Cane zone. Golden chance for the Hurricanes to get the game tied. Corey Schneider has been strong. Back comes Carolina once again. Into the Devils' end, Peter Harrell. Back to collect this. Jarring at the loose puck. Lindholm deep in the zone along with Riley Nash. Those two are on with Jeff Skinner. Nash looking to dig it out for Carolina. Skinner comes off the boards with it. Able to control, now turns and shoots. He fired it off Henrique, and the Canes have to get back on side. A good play by Henrique to block that shot, and he's shaking his leg going off the ice. So another guy banged and bruised. They're earning it tonight. Gianta chops at the loose puck, and this deflects out of play with 5.39 to go in the third. Devils clinging to the 2-1 lead in Carolina. Big night for that man, Yaramir Yager. He has a goal and an assist. He continues to climb the scoring ladder in the National Hockey League. 1,772 points in his remarkable career. This is the 1500th chapter of it, moving past Marcel Dion tonight into fifth place all time on the scoring list. The next man he would catch is in the building tonight. GM of the Hurricanes, Ron Francis. Off the draw taken by Carolina. And Sakara works it across. Five and a half minutes to go here at the PNC Arena in Raleigh. Played in deep. Here's Stahl deep in the devil zone. Brother Jordan finally skating again. Coming back from a broken leg. Taken here by Sakara at the circle. His shot and a riser that got over the shoulder of Corey Schneider. Work back to the point. Here's Lyles on the puck. His shot blocked away by Zedlitsky in front and cleared away by Josephson and the Devils. Some desperation on the Devils' part. Gianta going down, making Sakara shoot that puck over him and end up going high. Tyson waved off. Hurricanes back the other way. The pass for Tulusti. Hopped over his stick. Picked up here by the Hurricanes. Sent behind the net. McClement loose at the side of the net. Toulouse swiping at it, jamming at the loose puck, and now McClement will track this down in the corner. Pressure here by the Hurricanes late. Turning around and shooting Derby. The flex on the opposite side to Falk, and now Gomez just wants to get it out of harm's way. Missed on the first opportunity. Unrelenting pressure now by Carolina. Derby able to work that across. Picked up here. Falk with a drive, and it's blocked away in front. And the Devils able to clear the zone. Finally, Scott Gomez able to flip that puck out. Relentless pressure from Carolina now. Jordan tripped up at the blue line. We play on Fomo Rutu. At center ice, now bothering Riley Nash. Fans wanted a penalty call. Goes back into the Carolina end. And here's Mikhail Jordan. Hit by Josephson. Or rather, Bernier checked that, and now the Hurricanes have it in their own zone. 3.45 to go, third period in Carolina. Punched ahead by the Devils, Adam Henrique on the loose puck. It's a backhand try away, and it's gloved by Cam Ward, who stops play with three and a half left. Finally, the Devils get a face-off in the Hurricanes' end, and that's a smart play by Adam Henrique. He didn't have a whole lot. Just get that backhander on net. Cam Ward has to cover it up. Make the Canes at least come 200 feet to try to get the equalizer. But Devils have played well in their end. I mean, see, I know they've spent this whole period in it. It's been desperate at times. Canes have, Canes have certainly outplayed them, but they're blocking a lot of shots and, and getting terrific goaltending. Trying to hold off on any issue of wear and tear the Devils are. They've Lost another forward, at least for the time being, in Dinah Zubris. 
who has not returned from the locker room. Here's Sisla. Trying to shake loose in the corner, but taken away. Nestershill darts back the other way for Carolina. Able to pick up Lyles. Defenseman over the line, but punched away by New Jersey and back out to center. Jordan gets it away from Jacob Josephson. Carolina works it ahead. Quick shot, save made by Corey Schneider off the shot from Victor Rask. Boy, again, that man, Victor Rask with a quick wrist shot. A lot of mustard on that one. Picked up here by the Devils. Here's Havlat over the line. Martin Havlat with a man to beat in Lyles. He's slowed up. Dropped back towards the point and hops over the stick of Severson and worked across. Devils pick up Gomez at center. Played it off Havlat, and it's controlled here by Carolina. McClement back the other way. Works it across for Derby. Falk sends it in deep. McClement trying to control in front. Puck twisting and turning. Taken here. Jared at by the Devils and Scott Gomez, who nurses this to the stick of Yager, who clears it away. Quick shifts for the Devils. They make the change, but an icing call here will sort out who can stay on the ice. Uh, Yager just cleared it a little too far, and they call it icing. Here's the Canes again. Good puck movement through the neutral zone. Brass from a sharp angle. Snaps that puck, and Corey Schneider has to be good there with the club save. But it seems all these young kids nowadays, Steve, can really snap that puck and can score from, from anywhere. That was a real good opportunity to tie the game. No surprise, Pete DeBoer uses his timeout here. 2.08 to go. His team has just iced the puck. Yager did not get off in time. Merrill, Severson, Gomez remain on with Tuomo Rutu with 2.08 to play. Devils trying to gain ground on the third place Rangers in the division. Pittsburgh with goals by Evgeny Malkin and Steve Downey 24 seconds apart. Coming back to tie the Rangers at MSG tonight in the third. Marty Brodeur has a 2-0 lead in St. Louis. He's the starting goaltender against the Florida Panthers. A big 2.08 to go. Gomez to take the defensive zone draw. Off the draw. It's controlled by Carolina and Jeff Skinner. On the puck. Centering try. Loose in front. Cleared away by Merrill. Here's Skinner winding it around to the stick of Lindholm. Elias Lindholm behind the net. Looks at his options. Brings it back to the point. Elias Lindholm tries to feed Eric Stahl down low. That's broken up. Yager able to muscle it out to center. Carolina net empty. It's taken here by Rask. Now they get a change, and that was a good play by Yager along the wall, taking no chances to clear the puck. Rask works it across. Hurricanes gain the zone. Deep in the devil's end. Here's Andy Green. Tries to wind it around the boards. Adam Henrique tries to punch it around the zone. Cannot. Shot from the point. Blocked away in front. Henrique on the loose puck. Muscles it away. Is it strong enough for an icing call? Falk is back, and yes, they do get it. Boy, was that close. That was close. No question about the puck rolling, and usually the opposing team or the home team will get the benefit of the doubt. And that was close, but uh, nonetheless, they call it an icing, and the Devils have a minute 14 here to try and finish this off. Carolina has been pressing all third period. 38 shots for the Hurricanes in the hockey game to this point. Nestrashill takes the draw against Henrique, and it's one back by Carolina. They've got six attackers on. Sakara plays it across, gets it back from Lyles. He shoots and he fires it wide. Off the backboard, the follow-up try. Loose in front, they jam at it. Went through Schneider's crease and played back towards the point. A minute remaining, controlled now by Sakara. His try blocked away by Steven Gianta. To the opposite side, Gerby on the half wall. Winds it around the boards and Sakara, the defenseman, tries to center one. Toluski had it knocked off his stick. Zidlitsky thrown into the corner. Turnaround try by Gerby and a save by Schneider. Holding the zone is Lyles incredibly. And he works it across. Shot by Nestrashill is fired wide off the boards. Controlled here by Sakara. Half a minute to go. Devils trying to hold on. It deflects back to Lyles. John Michael Lyles 
Dish is off. Nestrosil, centering try, loose at the side of the net. Picked up here by McClement. Worked back to the point. Sakara dishes off. Shot from the far side. Off a stick in front. 15 seconds to go. Canes get it to Sakara again. They work it across. Derby back to Sakara. Crowd yelling, shoot. Blocked away by Bernier. Another try. Saved by Schneider. Derby with a try. Fired wide. Winds around to the opposite point. Chopped at by Bernier. The Devils will hold on and defeat Carolina 2-1. Wow. Carolina relentless in the Devils end with the goaltender pulled. Great work by Bernier Giant up front. Andy Green on the back end to somehow save the day. Corey Schneider as well to salvage a two to one victory for the Devils. The final count 40 shots for Carolina this evening. Schneider gets his 11th win. He spoke today as they wrapped up the morning skate about a sense of urgency needing this one. The streaking Chicago Blackhawks who've won six straight waiting for the Devils back in New Jersey. They'll play that game on the heels of a win that they grinded out tonight two to one. Tonight's goal of the game is brought to you by Nissan. Choose Nissan today for great offers on our most exciting lineup ever. Shop at choosenissan.com. Look at, let's look at the Nissan goal of the game. It's Adam Henrique with the game winner late in the second period on the power play. Jeremy Jagger goes around the net. Gets a nice feed right here from Scotty Gomez. Goes around the net. Cam Ward unable to recover. And puck bounces Adam Henrique. That's your Nissan goal of the game. A 2-1 to one final score in favor of New Jersey. Chicago versus the Devils tomorrow night. Devils post game coming your way on MSG Plus next.